What's going on, guys? Let's go over some tickers. But first and foremost, before um, I want to shout out Noah from the chat. Um, on nearly almost 100% on his work play. We have here. Come check us out, guys. Come call out your plays and watch it, uh, watch us call out our own plays. Um, it's completely free. Check out the thing down, first link down below. Now, Microsoft is one. I, I kind of underestimated a couple socks today. Work being one of them. Microsoft being number two, especially. It was right around, I believe, here one before the 185s. You can see my chart. My chart lines here. Let's go back on the 15. But one thing that I would never doubt, guys, anymore. I'm, I'm going to stop doubting myself, be a little bit more riskier. I told myself, look. What, this is look at the four hour highs of 189 today. Um, assuming it was like 180, 185 in the morning, you see this chart it, from it coming out from the 140s. You're just like, there's no way this has to dip. I'm down to the 180s, but if you zoom in on the four hour a little bit closer, you see this beautiful ABCD, the ABCD textbook play. I'm still above the EMA, breaking past that resistance around 185, which it exactly did. Touch it into the 189s, almost the 190s. So even if this were to pull back to like the 186, still above the EMA, I'd probably swing this. Um, I do think it could probably touch the 200s. Um, by the end of the week or early next week, um, Apple. I literally thought we were just gonna plunge this morning. Um, right here, right here around the three seventeens, with with this top at three eighteen, and then a lower top, like around one, like one the mid at three eighteens. I literally thought we were coming down, especially as as it's cracking under EMA, and then we had that reverse one. Then surprisingly enough, let's pull back a little bit. We closed above three twenty one, which we had some like resistance here on the three twenties. And by the end of the day, like I said, we're still closing around the 320s. So not bad for Apple. Another one I'm still holding is Beyond. Let's go back on the, I think I was analyzing the 4-hour here. Look at the 4-hour, guys. So anything above 110 for me on this stock, I'm still going to hold. If it comes to trying to play around the, the low 105s, 110s, it's going to be a no-no. Um, on the 4-hour still, we have the EMA crossover. So I'm expecting... I'm um, the 135s. I just got a notification, so that clar clarifies IBM report. Uh, yeah. Even, I, I believe it got halted towards the end of the day. So, uh, this is my my target here. 135, and then past the 135, I'm hopefully hoping we're back in the 150 range. So, let's give it like a week or two for beyond on that one. Um, another one I underestimated was AMD. We called this one out in the morning. Let's see. Let's go back. One minute. Look at my charts, guys. Ah, uh, it's just like a 50-59. I'm kind of telling myself it's coming down from the 49s. Um, I expect at least a pullback, at least to like 50-50, 50-15, and then we have another bounce. But no, it broke past the 50-59, hit 50-87, pulled back, used that previous resistance as support. Um, still trended upwards, broke past 51. Top dollar like at 52-14. Zoom out a little bit. And we it still managed to tighten up here and then break past almost like an app like um apple towards the end of the market close and it's holding 50 to 37 so hopefully on this one we could get another dip i'm eyeing amd uh very very uh, tightly and tesla which is our last one which was just super crazy today i i was charting this one like crazy i just kept eyeing it i'm like i put myself even though I'm not trading that. I put myself in a situation where I was like, what if I buy here? So number this, I would have been right on this one right here. This always this is like an easy, easy chart pattern to call out a descending triangle. So it's coming from the 819s, comes down to this can't pass 800, which is the whole number. And then it's slammed under EMA, guys. It can't. Look at that descending. It's like it's an upside down Microsoft, basically, what I'm seeing here. And yep, it, indeed it does. It breaks down. If you flip the chart upside down, you can see it breaks up. Um, it broke past from the set. It broke down from like the seven. Where is it? First, it was here. We had that 785 bounce, uh, double bottom, and then we broke past the 784s all the way down to like the 750s. And I told you guys it's gonna hold 750s. Where did I tell you guys? Um, it's somewhere here in the chat. 450. Um, 780s. Uh, this was 7:26. Tesla might collapse here. Scary at the 7:80 descending triangle. That was 7:26 a.m. here on the Pacific. So 7:26 is right here, exactly right here. So 7:83, and it did collapse, and it managed to hold itself 7:50s. I don't know exactly where I said it was gonna hold 7:50s. Ah, uh, right here. So I say 7:50 holds half dollar 7:52. Seven right around here. So it held 7:53. We bounced off. Had another bounce, higher low 754, higher low 756, higher low 761. 
all the way up to like the 784s, which was exactly where we did, um, collapsed down. And we had this dip towards the end of the day. Now, here, that's that's going based off the one hour. Now, you always have to look at it off the four hour. Let's zoom in just a little bit. Technically speaking, since like the new year, we've, we're still on the four hour uptrend. But um, I'm not I'm not a big fan of this, guys. A lot of I've seen a lot of um, pictures on threads like stock twits comparing this to the pump and dump chart pattern. So um, the daily one it makes me even a little bit more scared because I don't know how the e how we're gonna look tomorrow. This this can go either way. Um, usually, like on Apple on AMD, I kind of have my my gut says it's gonna break past more or it's gonna come down to support. This one's just too volatile. It has I think it has just too much hype around it. I literally don't know what to say on this one. Um, worst case scenario, this does drop to like the 700s. Uh, so test 750 again, and we have some EMA retest, or this is literally just a small pullback, and we continue the uptrend here. We continue the uptrend tomorrow. This blows past 800 again, potentially reaching 850s. Both scenarios there. We dip down maybe towards 700, find some support there, continue to wedge sideways with 800 being the resistance, uh, or 750 being the resistance and 700 being support, or we hold 750s as support and break past 800 potentially reaching the 850s so th these are the two ranges first and foremost that this stock will trade tomorrow um but i believe it's gonna go either it's gonna go parabolically either one way or another so with these tomorrow and wednesday is gonna be like a defining day for tesla in my opinion um but that being said i'm not gonna touch it yet if you guys found this video helpful make sure you guys leave a like check out the first link down below and leave a comment with your with what you're trading and check us out i'll be here we're always here in the morning posting our plays so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care, guys.